project, I wanted to create something that actually worked. So, I bought this. Now it's not exactly from the Scorpion King, but it's got a decent draw weight to it, so should do the job. Just picked up the bow, and I got bird poo on it. Good start. shape for the quiver cut out now which is made out of faux leather backed with foam but since it's backed with foam if you left it as is when you put the arrows in they'd always end up getting caught and it wouldn't be very good so I've got a thinner piece of faux leather to back it with so it's nicer on the inside like that the problem is if you just backed it like that and then folded it it would end up getting a load of creases in it like so which doesn't look very good. So, solution is, I made this little card cut out in the shape of the quiver. So I'll bend them into shape and then stick them together. Roughly like so. And then it looks a lot better. Thing we need to do is paint them.
So the quiver is now pretty much done, it just needs assembling. We've got this piece which helps keep the rigidity of the leather inside, which then slots into this piece there using a bit of dowel. And then after that's on there, the quiver just slides on. There we go. So, turns out I'm crap at filming things and I forgot to film the making of some of the bow. So this is the piece of the bow, the main piece of the bow that you see here. And this was just made out of foam and then sanded down into shape. After I had the basic shape, I covered it in body filler very badly. But to be fair, this was the first time I never used body filler, so it was a bit of a learning experience. The body filler was then sanded down, made nice and smooth. After it was all nice and smooth, I used a Dremel to carve out the basic details, all the indents and stuff. To get all the raised details on there, I just used some uh, polymer clay and smoothed it all out. And then you'll see more on this process later with the arrow because I did it in more detail there. I had to use a heat gun to harden the clay because if you put it in the oven, the foam all melted, which was not the best. After all the details were on, it was time to cast it. For this I used a semi-rigid plastic because I wanted it to flex a little bit with the bow so that when you pull the string back it's not resisting the bow. After it was all casted, it was just super glued together with some flexible super glue. And then it was time for paint. So, as you can see, the bow is now pretty much done. It's all painted. I even painted these bits brown, just so because the original bits didn't match with the color of the bow, and it looked a bit silly. So I painted the brown so it all matches. And we've got the end caps on, which are detachable so that you can string it. Back and back on. Last thing that needs to be done is just these little bits of leather around there to finish off the grip. There must have been a better way of filming this. Several later. All right, so we've got the basic shape made and sanded now. So now we just need to add some details. For this, I'm going to be using polymer clay, Fimo to be precise. And first of all, we're just going to add a bit of wood glue to help it stick. And then whack it on. Like a
Now that we've got the basic shape down, we're going to smooth it out with some nail polish remover. And into the oven it goes. Eventually. So the arrow and the entire project are just about done now. The last thing I need to do is just add the tip. So the tip ended up being cut on a laser cutter to make it clean. And I did try to cut it with a saw, but there's these weak bits here and I broke many pieces of acrylic. Now the tip's just going to attach by drilling a little groove with the Dremel into the arrow there. And then it'll just slot in. Like that.
うわ